This video is going to be me taking you along for the full journey of creating an oil painting. So from the very first piece of inspiration to the finished painting with all of my thoughts and ideas along the way. So this process is different every time because each painting requires something different. So for this piece, which I haven't yet started, I'm about... Oh! Oh, someone who bought my painting has just got it framed and they've sent me a picture. I'll look at it after. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so for this particular piece, which I haven't yet started, I'm still in the planning stage. So I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it started, I think I saw some images of like high key paintings. Um, and then I just couldn't stop thinking about them. So I've collected a bunch of secondary photos that I want to give it a go painting like that. I think I've done one piece that used quite a high key palette. I'll try and show it here. And I guess I was imagining decorating a space and what kind of art I would like to have on the walls. Yeah, that's the kind of starting point. And then I was looking through my painting ideas page that I have on Notion and there's just it, it's very basic but it there's just an idea that says woman in a shirt face on hands in frame question mark cut off at elbows close crop so then I immediately had an image in my head of the combination of those two ideas so the next step was to create a concept sketch, I guess. I didn't have my reference image yet, but I had quite a strong idea of what I wanted the piece to look like. So I just did a very simple sketch in Procreate. And then the next day I took the reference images. I'm just editing my chosen reference photo here to make it look a bit more like the vision I have for this painting. Very annoyingly, Procreate crashed right as I finished and the time-lapse replay um, is nowhere to be seen. So I can't actually show you the exact steps I took while editing the picture, but I've done a little reenactment of the main steps for you.
that's the whole point of this video. But the reason so many relationships fail fail so much, uh, and maybe also part of it is because I don't think I've become an adult in three months. And the thing that would freak me out is this like changement, don't take compromise, or you have to sacrifice, and that's not your first. That's where I'm at. If I have to sacrifice, The sun is shining and I'm only wearing two pairs of socks instead of three so it feels like spring is coming and it's a good day to finish this painting hopefully and then maybe sit outside and try and catch some sun we'll see how that goes also I just want to say for anyone that hasn't discovered yet I'm sure you all have but I'm very slow to it if you write down your color mixes if you're painting over multiple sessions, you can just refer back and remember rather than I, I always struggle to remember exactly what colours I've used. But this is so simple and genius and I don't know why it's taken me years to think to do this. So yeah, just in case anyone's as slow as me.
If you don't mind, I'd like to share some thoughts I was having while sitting outside. I was remembering sitting in that exact spot as a child with my little notebook and deciding that if I was going to be an artist, I needed to work out what to draw and where to find inspiration then and there. I was observing the bees in the lavender and thinking, okay, that's something, I'll just create masterpieces of that. And then I did a shit pencil drawing of a bee and was very disappointed in myself. All that to say that the journey from inspiration to artwork was so unclear and confusing to me. How do artists create something out of seemingly nothing? I now know that there's no linear path. Finding inspiration is a practice and it requires being constantly open to receiving the world around you. And with consistency, it just becomes part of your brain that never shuts off and can find inspiration in just about anything. I feel like it's a tuning process, like you have to tune yourself to notice the things that inspire you. And I feel very grateful that from a young age, I was so determined on cultivating a creative practice. And now I get to live with one, even if it's never really profitable. Just having it has given me so much space to explore and understand the things I love. I'm not saying that it's never uh, difficult or stressful or overwhelming frustrating, disappointing, tear-inducing, but I think that I would be very lost without it.